Yo, what's good guys? It's JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent Road to a Glory. And today we've got big things going down. We have hit 1,300 cards. That's right, Pink Diamond Rondo is here already. Just a few days ago, we had 900. Of course, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I managed to get to this position. But let me tell you, it's now going to slow down really down fast. I don't think we're going to hit these curries for a while. And then, uh, yeah, unless they release Series 1 and the Heat Check set in the next week or so, we're probably going to be waiting quite a while to be moving up any more levels. But for now, really happy with where we are at. And of course, this Saturday is the 250k qualifier, the first one of the year. Obviously, we're qualified. You only need to be in the Emerald tier. So we're going to start building our team that we're going to use on Saturday. Because, of course, I'm going to be playing it because why the hell not? Last year, we managed to get 105th in Europe. So I guess we're trying to crack that top 100 this year. So let's go ahead and jump into it today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily videos and check out the Facebook, facebook.com slash JD crossover for the daily streams. And of course, shout out the Ghost of Channel for their support. Eric, Cody, Spooky, Kieran, Josh, and Liam Wright. 9,000 XP to Mellow. That's right, under 10 K. Let me know down below where you guys are at with the XP because I feel like most people are kind of there. Most people are kind of sort of level 35 and above. So let me know down below where you are at right about now. So what have we done today to get to this point? Well, we picked up Jaron Fox to do his three pointers. Oh my God, he's expensive. I've got no MT now, but we've got to cash him in. Dude, he's like 40K. What? That's absurd. And then we also picked up Jimmy Butler to do his XP. So it was 2,500 XP from those guys. And week five, part one dropped today. Free throws, flash points, three games of Dom, and then five threes shooting guard, which is already done. So that's another 1,700 XP right there. So we are going to have Melo by the time 250k rolls around this Saturday. There's nobody else I've actually got left to do. All of these players are dumb expensive. Uh, Monte Ellis is maybe like 60, 70k, so maybe he's possible. I know Dominique's cheap, but 15 rebounds online? Nah, miss me with that. So we're going to get week five, part one done. Part two Wednesday, part three Thursday. We'll get prime time five tomorrow. We'll do the Sapphire, the Ruby, and the Amethyst. And that should be enough to get us level 40 for the first time this year. We have played Domination. Look at this. First division done. And then one game done here as well. So six games down in all-time domination. 18 stars. So we're making some progress. I'd like to have it done by the start of season number two. If not, it's not the end of the world. But it's also very good to see more cards being added to the collection. Because, of course, every game I play, you get a ball. And every game, well, every two games, you get the James Edwards. You get the Emerald card. And then every five games, you get the Sapphire card as well. So it's just good for card collect level all round. And then when you hit 33 stars, you get the all-time decades caught. And then, of course, at the end, Bam Bob Cousy. It's not a bad card. Nothing online today, as far as I'm aware. We do need to get through this draft, which is a really strong draft. Look at that. Dame, Lamello, Ant-Man, Jay Crowder, and Rudy Gobert. That is a strong draft. And we can use Dennis Rodman at the five. Super small ball, but great shooting and great speed everywhere. So, going to get through that draft, and that's going to be the last draft of the season. And then, of course, there'll be a new grand prize next season. So, how have I managed to get 1,300 cards? Let me show you. So we have got every base set card with the exception of all Amethysts and with the exception of the Nets gold players because they are still 4,000 empty each and I ain't trying to spend that anytime soon. But other than that, we've got everything. Premium set, we've got all Sapphires and most Rubies. The only Rubies we're missing are Lamello and Dane because they're dumb expensive. Uh, but other than that, we've got every Ruby and Amethyst apart from Darius Miles. Again, glitched, very expensive. We don't want to have that. So that's where we are in terms of premium. And then look at this. Every jersey in the game, I now own. It took me a few days to get there because I wasn't just buying every card. I was being patient with it. But we now own every single jersey. A few days ago, I had none. And now we've got every single one. And we come down here, we've got Every arena, playbook, logo, basketball, uh, court floor, and then 28 coaches. So this is my big purchase today. Bought it for 6500 so pretty good price on him. He's about 11 k right now, so 6000 I'm not mad at it. The only two coaches we don't have, two amethysts and one diamond. And that's it. That's everything in this game right now. And that's only put me at 1300 So we really need to play some more domination. 
and do some more lifetime agendas. And speaking of lifetime agendas, there we go. Locked in that for 20 tokens, and then one more over here gets us another 20 tokens, and then these two will get us another 40 tokens, because four divisions left. That's it. 17 threes of the Bulls player, that one's done. 12 threes with a Magic player, and 38 points with a Magic player, done. Over here, we need a lot with Suns, we need 23s, we need 23s with a Clipper as well. 14 threes with a Warrior, and over here, we need 23s with a Grizz and 23s with a Pell. But that's it! Like, that's not all that much, and of course we get Deluxe Packs for all four of those, so that is pretty chill. So, there's not really much I can do now, like I said, we're not going to be moving up through the levels anymore. We're, we're stuck here. There's maybe one or two cards I'll be able to pick up if they go cheap, these gold cards, but I don't think they're going to. And other than that, it's just going to be playing these games of domination, getting these balls here, and then these cards over here, which will be enough to put us to 1350. So we will be able to hit the next level if we complete a domination, but we're not going to get any further than that. So let's cash in some MT. So yesterday, we pulled the three point boost, the diamond three point boost, and we pulled Amethyst Dwight Howard. So bam, let's get those cashed in. My hollow Dan Marley has finally sold. He is needed in the daily agenda today. I have had that card for so long. I bought it for like 1,000 MT though, so huge profit. He needed a hollow card for a double-double, 200 XP. He's finally sold 12,000. That's about a 10k profit, which is sick. And then De'Aaron Fox, 38,000 MT. That boy was expensive. And now we've got 70,000 MT. Hello there. How much is that Monte Ellis? Let's have a look. We've got 70k to play with. He's around 70k, so we can buy Monte Ellis to do his XP if needed, which he really isn't needed right about now. Right, so our MT is looking great. The XP is looking great. Tokens are looking great. That pack is not looking great, but we'll send all of that to auctions because it will all sell. And now our point guard position is about to be looking pretty damn good as well. Pink Diamond, our first Pink Diamond from the collector levels. The quicker we got up the levels, the more time we're going to be able to actually enjoy these cards. If I got this Rondo in a month's time, he would be completely irrelevant. If I got him two, three months down the line, I wouldn't even look twice at him. But right now, this is a strong card. Rondo, hello there. How you doing, little fella? How you doing? So let's go ahead and take a look at him, and then we'll build our 250k squad. So he goes into here. We've only got one more card to get. Obviously, they need to add a lot more. But for right now, there's only one other card that's actually in-game in the database. Mad. So we've got Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, which is big slithery finisher as well. Big gold badges, dimer, pickpocket, clamps, downhill, floor general, menace, silver badges. We've got break starter, we've got intimidator, rebound chaser. And as today's quick first step, hot zone hunter, pretty good. And then stats wise, we are looking at a 94 layup. We've got a 73 mid and a 73 ball. We'll come back to that in a second. No driving dunk. Great passing, obviously. 96 steal, 95 perimeter defense, 80 for the rebounding, and a 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 lateral quickness. Now, as for this three ball, as for the shooting in general, with Quinn Snyder, plus five boost. So he's got a 78 mid and a 75 three for me. What I can do is make a diamond shoe and maybe put a gold three-point boost on it, which then puts it up to a 78. 78 three-ball is not awful. I still probably wouldn't be all that confident going up with him, but defensively, incredible card. Absolutely incredible. Now, my point guard for the 250k is a card that I don't actually have yet. My point guard for the 250k is going to be this Walt Frazier card. 93 layup. 82 threes, a much better shooting than Rondo. 90 mid-range again, much better shooting. Slightly worse defense, but only slightly. Much worse rebounding, but it's pretty irrelevant. So 91 steel, 92 perimeter. And then 90 lateral, 89 speed and acceleration. Still fantastic. Hoff bullet passer, which is brilliant, may I say. And Hoff floor general, fantastic. Dimer, pick dodger, interceptor. Uh, handles for days was there. Hot zone hunter. Silver finish, uh, silver finish finisher. Clamps, intimidator. It's a really strong card. So I think Walt Frazier, we need to get up to 150 tokens by Friday or by Saturday. But we've got to do that draft. The draft is going to get us some. We're going to finish those last three uh, sets down here. That's another 60 tokens. So we'll comfortably get there. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a 250k lineup. lineup. Now, am I taking it super seriously? No. Do I care if I lose my first game? Not particularly. But do I want to try, have fun like we did last year with 
two weekends. I think we did two weekends last year. Um, we tried. And uh, yeah, we got 105th. That was my best finish. So that is what we've got to try and get better than this year. So Rondo is going to be our backup point guard. Um, we're going to have Walt Frazier at the starting. We're going to have Dale Ellis at the two. We're going to have Glenn Robinson at the three. And then we're going to have a card who I don't have yet at the four, which is obviously going to be Carmelo Anthony. So when we hit level 40, Melo is going to be our starting power forward because he does have bronze rebound chaser, which I can boost up to silver. He's got like 80 to 85 rebounding, which is definitely manageable. And then center position, we're looking a little bit ropey. I ain't going to lie. Um... It may be Surge. A few people have said about this Daryl Dawkins. Uh, once he gets Evoed, he gets plus 9 to the speed. So he comes in with 75 speed and acceleration. Great defense, great boards, uh, great driving as well. Nice driving dunk, 84 driving layup. No real shooting, though, no real offense. So if we do that, we will have that Evoed. And off the bench, then it would be Serge Ibaka. Just so we've got an opportunity to stretch the floor. Danny Manning could come through. But he can't really stretch, and he hasn't really got the defense, so he's kind of a middle ground of a card. And then Jermaine O'Neal, I believe he's got a mid-range, yeah, but no three ball. So just to have a bit of differentiating factor, a few differentiating factors in our big man, then we'll take a back end. If we want to stretch the floor, we've got that. Off the bench at a two. We've got options, but I think it's going to be the beard. Fear the beard, indeed. At the three, it's going to be ML Carr, and at the four... It is going to be Gus Gerard, who, by the way, is back in... Let's just put him there for the time being. He's back in Triple Threat offline. Online. Well, Ron Boone's back in Triple Threat offline. I forgot to say this. And then Gus Gerard is back in Triple Threat online. So the only new content we got today was old content that got recycled. It is what it is. Right, let's get back to this. And I'm going to take three free agents because I can guarantee... There's going to be other people using free agents. So if they do, if you want to play that way, we can play that way. So we're going to take D12, Kawhi, and the West Beast, and then Walt Frazier in here. So we're going to start with four pink diamonds. Off the bench, we'll have another pink diamond. Off the bench, we'll have three diamonds. And the Amethyst James Harden, who, let's be real, might as well be a diamond. And then in the club, so cards I'm not using, Marcos Johnson, understandable. Uh, Jamal Murray, very, very strong point guard. Very strong offensive point guard, but... Need him. Daryl Griffith, awesome card, like super fun card, really, really nice and well-rounded, but when you've got James Harden out there, James Harden is that guy. Ron the Don is fantastic, Ron's fan, absolutely fantastic, but again, is he better than Rondo or uh, Walt Frazier? I'm not so sure about that. Dre's not bad, Al Horford's good at stretching the floor, what's he got? Uh, 83 ball, yeah, a solid, but then the speed lets him down, 53 is pretty damn horrendous. And you've got the defensive guys like Michael Cooper, um, Lou Dortz out here as well. Jay Crowder's good, James Worthy's good, but I think that's the team that I'm going to go with. Now, I'm going to have to try and practice with it a little bit, because I don't really know any of these guys' release. Um, we've never used Rondo, obviously. I've barely used Gus Gerrard. I've never used Daryl Dawkins apart from offline. We'll have never used Melo when he comes through. And then ML Carr, I don't think I've ever actually greened a, a three with him. It says I've never attempted a three. I have. I've just missed them all. So, yeah, definitely need to get practicing with these guys. Like I said, I'm not going to take it super seriously, but we're going to go in, have fun, take our best team. You know, it's, it's a pretty good team, and I think we might out-team a few players. And if that gives us a little bit of edge in some of these games, then, uh, yeah, that is all good news. And Kyrie's there, but Kyrie haven't really got that defense, Luca as well. Nah, I think I'm pretty confident with this team right there. So we need to make tokens. Like I said, we're going to do the draft, and we're going to get through these lifetime agendas, and we need to get a mellow. So that is our to-do list for this week. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do it all. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. Rondo, wait, where is he? Rondo is here. 1,300 cards collected. Feels good, man. So that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please have subscribe. I'll see you next time. And peace.